do you guys think app development is going to go in the next few years? So, mm -hmm. Marie, do you want to jump in on that one? Right now, the hot topic is definitely wearable technology. Mm -hmm. We're looking at that, and Nest, with its its intelligent um, thermometer, is is uh, starting to make people talk about connected homes a little bit more than it was before. And we're looking at Thomson Reuters as more innovative uh, mobile areas and where the future is going. We're looking at definitely providing news, um, financial and just general news into homes. It could be on a, on a mirror, on, a, on your fridge, on mm -hmm. um, your table in the kitchen. Essentially anything can be programmable. Any sensor can be programmable and be, can be connected via an API. And mm -hmm. I think that is really the, the crux of the Internet of Things, is mm -hmm. being able to connect any object. Mm -hmm. There's a kind of a total rethinking of the way that data, the role that data has in our life, you know. Mm -hmm. So this table's on a table, it's really a data object. It's a user right? interface. You know, yeah. and yeah. so mm -hmm. that, that changes application development entirely. Mm -hmm. I, I think the, certainly connectivity across different form factors that we haven't traditionally done work on. Mm -hmm. um, but also the notion um, that is just starting to emerge even more which is using multiple devices at the same time, right? It used to be, you know, get you windows of an of a application into perhaps, you know, my, you know, Ultrabook or my desktop or my phone, but now using both screens, right? One that may give me some information mm -hmm. as I go up and present, at, you know, versus one that's presenting elsewhere. So you're using actually more than one device, right? And as they get smaller, you'll see, you know, an application for app developers you're starting to see, you know, through APIs and transactions, these connected devices doing the same business function, mm -hmm. right? You, you know, adding companion apps, right? So connectivity API is super important, cross device is super important, and for app developers, rethinking parallel logic to a, another level, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, without sacrifice, sacrificing security and Without sacrificing security, and, yeah. that's right. So you have increasing data, more people viewing this data. But what excites me about the future is, and, and, and this is where HTML5 is going to shine, is converting this data into information, more interesting things, interesting ways of uh, looking at this data, interesting interactions that you can create with people um, with this data. And, and I believe that HTML5 with, um, with, with the level of usage that it's currently having and, and the ease with which you can potentially get started I believe um, will lead to very exciting ways in which we look at data in the future in ways we haven't really thought about today.